lovely Friday evening. Um, we're day zero of the coronavirus outbreak, and I'm your host, MG the Future. Today, I'm completely unmotivated to make a damn song. Usually what that means is, I don't do anything. But today, I'll be making graphics. So maybe I can upload a new beat to Instagram. Wouldn't that be nice? So, that's what I'm gonna try to do. Problem is, I haven't done it in so long that I think I forgot how to did it. So, damn near... Mich damned if I do, damned if I don't. Also, I have to go around 10 o'clock. Someone in chat kindly to remind me when I have a five minute countdown. And uh, we'll start, man. You already see what kind of vibe I'm on. We ain't gotta talk about it. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> we ain't gotta talk about it. Uh, mm. I don't even think there's no ginger in ginger ale, so I don't know what the whole the hype is about, but. You know, placebo effects and all that kind of cool shit. So, I'm with it. So, we got to design a cover. And then we got to design a Apple Motion project. And then we got uploaded to Instagram. So, that's what I'm going to do. D. Daniels is in the building. Xavier, Noodles, Dirty DRP, and Wilk. Eclipse, Mean Gene, Dollar on the Beat, DJ Georgie Porgy, Mods in the building. Judo Flip Chop times three. AB Smooth, Let's Go, The King Flex, Nixon Joshua, ATC Beats, Gawid F. Schmidick. It is me, sir. I saw your sweet. For that reason, you just make me happy. Make beats. I don't make beats, bro. What are you talking about, man? I think I'm a little bit too old to be making beats, to be honest with you. RB Garvey's in here. Jank mode. Jack mode. Blaze wanna chill versus kill. Society. Hey, my tip kind of high, but let me watch the stream just in case. Hey. Versa kill. Corn gang? What is a corn gang? You, you, you on that high fructose corn syrup wave? Money Mike's is in the building. Maverick's in the building. AB Smooth says, when the nudge works, let's go. Corona Fridays. Nixon Joshua, Damian Brooks. Noodle says, who's going to be the first rapper to say their pockets got corona? Yo, relax. Ernest Taylor, Alex Rubal. 
Ronnie Smith, Melodic Mouse says, who needs toilet paper? I got dime bags on the deck it. Damien, Corona cover art. Mmm, I don't know if that's sensitive. Stefan, what's good? Sour Dutch, it's lit. Mika Moon, Begs and Aiken, bless your breakfast. How ruin a track, ATC Beats. Conundrum says, yo, MG, and wow on a Friday night. What a time to be alive, man. Money Mike says, I've been totally unmotivated to create all week, so I've been working for more efficiency on tools to make me do this faster. Uh, open up Fruity Loops, open up one of the two drum kits that all the cool kids use, and download all the free loops off of Spicy Sundays and YouTube. Stop playing with me, kid. TB Anderson, Ackman the Shadow, making drum patterns for songs I like. Oh, Brooks, Damian Brooks, or did I say Damian Banks? Someone else's name is Brooks. Don't don't ask me, ask your manager, man. Seven C's, what's good, DJ Rome? Melodic Mouse has a chat break. All right, so my man said do something with Corona. Um, I don't think that's cute, bro, but fuck it. Let's do something with Corona. Uh, oh, what, what did I want to show you guys first? I got bookmarks for all this cool shit. What do I want to show you guys? Black market. Hopefully there's no naked girls. All right, so if you guys use any photo editors like GIMP, Photoshop, Affinity Photo. I use Affinity Photo for now. And so I get a Photoshop uh, subscription. What you don't know is that most people who do graphics for like the websites that sell kits and stuff, they use templates. And there's places like Black Market. They're kind of like the MG the Future of Beats. They are the MG the Future of graphics in terms of selling kits and stuff. So you can go to their pages and they'll sell you all the stickers that people put on their graphics. These are assets is what you'll call them. They have poster backgrounds and stuff that you can set the screen to make your stuff look more alive, as you can see in these examples. And there's a lot of websites that have this. So Black Market is one of the designers or producers for that kind of content. Um, there's so many more. I'm trying to find them. I didn't save them all. But I think you call them something like uh, stickers. Gumroad. I think Gumroad is a good site like that, right? Gumroad is like... Uh, spice for for audio. I'm trying to think. I'm, I want to find it for you guys. No, I don't want a belly sticker. Oh, oh. Uh, these dudes is gay. Um, holographic, holographic stickers. Do holographic stickers gum roll? There we go. Oh, uh, there we go. Something like that. Something like that. Right? Boom. Holographic stickers gum road. And the guy will sell you his kits on how you could do that. Most of the, here's the thing you got to be careful of. Here's the thing. If it's assets like textures and things that you're just going to put on your image, it could be any program. But certain assets have something called smart object layers. Affinity Photo just added smart object layers and it ruined it. I can't open up a Photoshop project with smart asset layers yet. Smart object layers. I'm going to show you an example of what I mean. But these kids, if you have Photoshop... You can download their stuff and just drag and drop your art that you get for someone on Fiverr to do. And you can make unlimited graphics for Instagram in your releases. This guy name is Design Syndrome, and he has all the shits and giggles for your art. You hear me? You hear what I'm saying? Hear ye, hear ye. These are drum kits for Photoshop. That's how the cool kids are doing it. You can find it. Use your Googles. Go to Reddit. Find out what all the cool kids are trying to trade. Look those up. Buy them. They're anywhere from $10 to $50, just like drum kits. It's the same shit that we do on the audio side, they do on the graphic side. You just got to know what the lingo is. I learned what the lingo is, and I have been flying, nigga. All right, so we said Corona. Hold on, real quick. All right, so when you're looking for things like Corona, for instance, Corona bottle plus PNG. No, let's, let's go even further. Transparent. It's not the trans you're thinking about. And we're going to get a transparent PNG somehow. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we can get it. Always check the file size. The resolution's really small. Pause. That's what she said. That might be low key trash. That might be too small. I want to try it anyway. I don't want to claim my entry. I want the damn download. The reason why you want a transparent PNG is the background is uh, clear. It doesn't have a white background. So that means is you don't got to trace it. You ain't got to cut it out. When you drag it into your project, you can put a black background on it, blue background on it, etc. Bong. 
Um, so those are transparent PNGs. There's websites that have free PNGs. And if you have Photoshop, you guys have these things that are like, a, let me see, PNG library. That's another thing, like drum kits is like another splice type thing. I forgot who they were. None of these cheap ones. There's like a really high end one. I forgot what the name is because I don't do that many graphics that many damn often. I should though, but y'all don't pay me to make videos, so I don't pay it for graphics. Hold on. I forgot what it's called. You'll, when you're looking for assets, you'll, you'll come across the site. So we're going to do a, a, a Corona album cover. I'm opening up my bootleg version of Photoshop called Affinity Photo 1.8. Um, I actually have this book. I bought their books. Ask me if I have read them. I have not. I am trash. But this program has some really cool features that Photoshop doesn't have. And it's missing all the features that Photoshop does have. So it's between a hard, rock and a hard place. The beautiful thing about Affinity Photo is $50 once. So you don't have to keep buying stuff. Um, there's presets for projects. I don't know what that's about. I'm going to increase my DPI. Uh, let me see. Uh, when you come across terms like that, be like, ideal DPI for album cover. You know what I'm saying? 300. Bong. That's all I needed to know. I'm going to switch this to 300 DPIs. And most Instagram is 800 by 800. You want to double or triple that because you want to resize it to Instagram. So I'm going to do 1600 by 1600 for my graphic. Instagram is going to resize it, but it's going to be a better quality. So called, so forth. It's like, it's like a starting as a wave and converting to an MP3. Stay woke. Bong. All right. I'm going to pause right here and check out the chat. I missed a whole bunch of stuff. Jesus Christ, guys. Uh, Illinois is in the building. Blaze FM, what's good? Rakim Escobar. So is this what Jay Elect meant when he said he's trying to find a meaning of life in a corona? No, he means he was hard on times and he was just drinking on the stoop. Carlin A, yo, yo, what's up, MG the tribe? Damian Banks, they got corona memes, bro. Don't worry about it. Ezekiel Will times corona type graphic. Affinity is dope. Oh, that's fire. A Flywork, good too. Flywork's fire. Flywork is dope, good too. I don't know who Flywork is. I barely know who Oz is. Mockups. Envato Market. There it is. Envato is one of them. Adobe got one. I use Canva for my YouTube thumbnails. They got access to a lot of stuff too. Um, official PSD used to be the mixtape stuff. A lot of that stuff is mids though. Damian Banks says no plug-in support. Who ain't? Well, I feel like that Snoop Dogg meme. Who ain't got plug-in support? Or ask your girlfriend for a graphics designer. That's, oh no, no thanks. Just make it 300 DPI when you export save for web. Pro tip. MH is in the building. What's good, Carmen Prince? He said, ask my girlfriend who's a web designer. How you know so much about my business? You better stay out my business, boy. Talking. What you talking, bro? Man, it's all up in my business. I don't see enough likes on this photo. You said, Affinity Photo ain't got no plugins? Boy, bye. Talk about, well, you that man don't know what he's talking about. He think I didn't do my homework before I bought it. I did my homework on everything but the smart objects. All right, so do I have color swatches? You could do this cool thing. You do this really, really cool thing. I'm going to show you guys this really, really cool shit you could do. Um, well, J Electronica is a new joint, right? Electronica album cover. I'm going to show you all real quick because you can hack graphics too, baby. You feel me? You say, you got to be struggling. I see struggle on your mind. My internet ain't working. Come on, dog. It's, I said, J, nigga, give me, give me, give me goddamn what I need, bro. What's going on? Oh, he really ain't got no cover colors in his shit. That'd be stupid. Um, he ain't got no colors in it, bro. He doesn't have a beautiful artwork. Um, Uzi, no Uzi for album cover mids too, right? <sighs> he has a bunch of weird colors. That's all. Uh, who has a dope album cover? No one really. We can, um, we can probably find something. I won't do it today, but basically this program will allow you to analyze the picture and the graphics and export it. So what ends up happening is you just end up using the color palette of the image that you extracted the colors from. This way you don't have to worry about color theory as much. It's really simple. It's really beautiful. I used this one before. I forgot what it was. But at this point in time, at the end of the world, it probably doesn't even matter. Boom. Almost black, but not really. 
The best backgrounds, of course, are gradients. Do you guys know what gradients are? Gradients is when your color goes from one to another, usually down and up, up, down, left, right, A, B, start. I got to figure out how to edit my gradient because, goddamn, this is trash. So I'm going to pick a lighter magenta, magente, magente, ya, 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 ya. I'm going to click on that and get a darker magente, ya, ya, ya. Woo! This look like it smell like an incense, don't it? This shit smell urban as hell, bro. This smell like uh, musk. This, <laughs> this is that black velvet, baby. Nah, this 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 cover look like it's gonna smell like some jupe. All right, so we got the background. Um, and you can add textures to it. You can em embose it and embellish it. I don't know if I want to do that yet. We'll try it. So one of my packs that I got that allows me to add texture usually use texture for the background. So uh, I'm going to find out where I put all that money at. Where did I put that shit? Templates. There we go. My templates, some of them include fonts. On Mac, this is painful. I had to rename everything so I don't lose it. Um, and there's textures. The textures you use for a lot of things. Um, it just makes the background feel better. And there's also some of those imprints and stuff that people be using. You know what I'm saying. Y'all know the vibes. So I'll use one of those, for instance. I'm going to drag that directly into my project. What I have to do right away is zoom out and resize that joker. Pause. It's too big. She'll never say that. And then we'll move it on in. And then we'll you set this to screen. Then we'll zoom back in with the shortcuts that I know for this, but not my audio programs. And boom, our background doesn't look so trash. What I do, you can adjust the blend on that a little bit. It doesn't have to be so serial. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, group these or merge them and hide those. And now this is one single layer. The reason why you want one single layer, and let's go ahead and start naming stuff. We'll name it background. And so you can add filters to it because brother said we can't have plugins and he's a damn liar. One of my favorite plugins is analog effects. Analog effects gives it that movie vibe. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? Easy buddy. You could tweak it if you want to, but that's like, that's, that's like tweaking the little John lead. What the hell are you doing? All right, so we're going to go ahead and bring in the Corona. Ah, ah, that shit is nice. I think if you hold shift, you get the snaps. Yeah, it, it kind of snaps. You see it snapping. The snap is trash. Like, it's snapping to uh, triplets, and I don't want it to snap the motherfucking triplets. Corona, baby. And I guess the colors. And I guess the colors before I even did the shit. That boy on fire. Speaking of fire, let's find some PNGs of fire. I bet you no one has them. This nigga just put random PNGs in here. Th these people who make these kits remind me of the niggas who put in kits with like 15 polo snares in it just so they could finish real fast. This shit's high key annoying. All right, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the cloud, the corona in the clouds. You hold alt and duplicate like anything else. You feel me? You can resize to make it more realistic. You could tilt shit. You, you guys know these vibes, bro. And the smoke is going to represent the aerosol cans because everyone's trying to desanitize themselves. I'm not finished yet. Where the hell is the fire, sir? Like, what is this? What is this? What is this struggle ass Elder Scrolls Online art covers our niggas is doing? No one's ever using this. Like, people abuse that one. Okay, that was the only good one. But if he gave us 20 of those, it would have been better than this bullshit. The hell is wrong with these kids, bro? What is this? Like, what the hell am I gonna, what I'm, what the hell am I gonna do with this Bryce 3D head ass object, bro? Not a damn thing. Anyway, don't worry about me, guys. I am bugging. We're gonna put fire in the background because that's what's gonna happen to China if they knuck, if they buck. I didn't say that. I'm joking. LOL. All right. Embedded document? Nah, nigga, this is regular, bro. Fuck out of here. Who do you mean an embedded document? Resize that shit, bro. All right, all right, bung bung. All right, we can zoom back in that bitch. And we want to resize this and re-strategize it so it's, you know, see how it's looming in the back? I don't know how to fix that. I am not an expert. Some shit like this, right? You want to resize it. You can mask it, too. I'm not going to get into masking right now because mm, the fuck a mask. All right, 
you know, just looming in the background. This cloud is way too far over. All right. You could go further than that. You could duplicate the flame, I'm sure. I could probably duplicate. Oh, hell no. I can hit the. Bro, give me the flames, bro. Stop playing with me. I duplicate it, and then I think you could do edit, flip horizontally, or some shit like that. Uh, layer. I don't know the shortcut for that. That's one shortcut I should know. Flip horizontal. No, flip along the vertical. Bruh. Not the whole canvas, my nigga, the damn. Just the object. How do you flip the flip, nigga? What do you, what do you mean, bro? There should be. I, ugh, bro, bro, bro. There we go. Arrange. Flip on the horizontal axis. There we go. So it looks more like a more even bloom. Like the flowers in June and the hearts can be in the... Oh, you know what I'm talking about. Baby! Those are clouds. We can... Bro, I didn't do that. Hold on. Uh, hit them with the L undo. Or trash that, bro. What are you doing? I'm trying to take these three and merge them. No, just... Just these, just, just these, bro. Just, just rasterize, fuck it. No, it's not gonna let me do it because I wanna be great and it doesn't want me to be great. So at that point, then you can add the text or whatever you want. Um, I'm debating on if I wanna do the text before or after. Because I'm gonna do another effect so that this blends into the background better. Hold on. It's like adding compression. Um, goddamn, it don't matter. It, fuck that, guys. Y'all know this shit don't matter. It, no one cares. No one cares. No, no one really cares. This is this is for Instagram. Like, really? Like, come on, dog. When am I gonna get a like? All right. So, can you do motion five cover? I sure can. Give me one second, sir. Yeah, you're jumping. A, you're jumping ahead of class. Um, we're gonna do color effects. We're gonna blend it. This is like using isotope ozone for graphics. Woo, you see that's fire, right? So all you gotta do is be like, control points, turn down the opacity. Add another filter. Oh, you see how everything pops a little bit? You see how like you, you curved off those transients? That's what this is about. It's about finding your steez. And I love the way you do. And I know how you flow. Can I get your name and number? You feel me? Mm hmm. You see what I'm saying? Looks like a movie. I'm not going to do no more to that because that's called overkill. All right. And then we're going to use the text object. We call that shit the Rona. You feel me, goddamn? You feel me, goddamn? Let's, uh, let's shift and in, in snap. All right. And then for text, we're gonna get those custom fonts. I marked them as favorites, so I remember what they are. Um, you can rename, you can resize it, realign it. A lot of this, a lot of that. The Rona, baby. The Rona. Uh-huh. And then I'm, I got some styles for that. I can make it gold, you feel me? The Rona, baby. Gold dust, gold art. I could do the stranger things for the Rona. Given our circumstances, this might be the best case scenario. Um, whatever. The Rona. There we go. Bruh, that is fire. I need to make it pop, though. I need a drop shadow. Or outline. Outline should be black, bro. The Rona. The Rona. There we go. You can see it. They can see it. They can see it. All right, so now that you got that, um, it's more of the same. I'm gonna merge those layers together. And I'm gonna make these invisible. In fact, not for nothing, un unless you're trying to keep track of your progress, you can delete them shits. All right, one more filter. This is like parallel compression. You, you're compressing the compression now. And the shit's gonna start getting fucked up, so be careful. Um, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Goddamn. Shit looking like a movie poster, bro. It's like Bad Boys 3. You feel me? This is easy money, guys. Like, 
Hey, y'all be paying people $50. I paid Affinity $50. This is cool, but as you can see, it, it uh, dulled everything. So you got to figure out the adjustments to uh, uh, op opacity. You know what I'm talking about? Some of this ain't got it, though. I ain't feeling that. Where's my opacity? I think it's called strength. There we go. Back up off the strength of a little bit. That shit is a little too strong. The Rona. Bong. That shit. Baby, man, if they don't hire me on Instagram or something, this nigga nice. And I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm going to add a black and white. I'm going to add a, uh, there's a, there's this shadow and highlights layer you can add. I just go through the presets, bro. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I ain't going to hold y'all. You feel me? Just to get certain things to pop. Um, and you keep going and you just keep fucking this up until you get something you like. And I'll add an adjustment layer up top and then we're going to do another one. I think it's, uh, I forgot what that shit is called. Curves. There we go. I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to act like I know what these mean, but they help. You feel me? See, it gets darker if I do that. It's an S curve. Like some of your granddaddies and grandmamas had an S, S curl, but this is an S curve. And basically, you want to make sure everything's legible. You can see everything. It's the same thing like reverb. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure you hear the elements and not just see the reverb. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Don't, don't be judging. I can feel you, you're judging ass eyes. Um, everything's clear and legible, bro. This one in the middle is trash, though. The Rona. All right. I think I got it. That's the way I fuck with it. The Rona. All right, so now I'm going to go back. Go back to my joints that I paid for. Go back to those textures. And we're just going to put some plastic wrap on it. We're going to find the texture that's plastic wrap. That's one. That one's cool, too. Most of these are backgrounds, though. Like, those are backgrounds. But these are plastic wraps. You feel me? That's a plastic wrap. So you take the plastic wrap, put it on top. And of course, you got to resize your plastic wrap. Bruh, resize my plastic wrap, bro. Stop playing with me, kid. And then you hit him with that screen again, bro. Bomb. Corona. The Rona wrapped in plastic, baby. That's it. That's all she got to do, bro. Shit look real, don't it? It look, it look realer than real. We, let's put the CD behind it. Just because all the cool kids used to do that. They stopped doing that because everyone figured out how to do it. I still do it because it feels, it feels, it feels right. The cool kids are doing this vertical banner. this a little go goofy thing they're putting on the left side of the image because they're trying to catch people copying them. I caught on to it. No, I didn't do it yet, but I know how to do it. Anyway, screen. You can do screen, lighten. Lighten sometimes looks better in this program. Screen is really ashy. It looks like it needs some lotion. So you turn the opacity down. And put it under your plastic layer. And that's pretty much it. The Rona. Now, I have something. We want to call this branding. I have my own branding. It's a sticker that I made. MG The Future Style. Holographic sticker pack. Gum Road, baby. Stay woke. Made my own little sticker because that's the only template that I bought that works. And you just put your little, you put your little brand somewhere on this shit, so they they know what you're about. Um, there's other stickers and shit that you could buy. Uh, goddamn, I got mad shit. I don't I don't remember them all because there's not an there's not a uh, XO drums for this shit. It's not horror, bro. Why are these Why are these so big? Pause. Yeah, they're using the sticker generators too, but they're kind of trash at it. Mm-hmm. Mm uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. No purchase necessary. Uh-huh. 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 Uh, the Rona. Let's resize. 
Where would these go back in the day? I don't. I really don't know, to be honest with you. Would you put it on the title? I wouldn't put it on the title. I put it somewhere around here. Yeah, giving me a ruler without giving me borders doesn't make sense. I think this should be smaller. I've never seen a I never seen a UPC that big, to be honest with you. Never in my life. I should put one of those skeletons there so I can scale it properly. Alright. That's the Rona. That's what you're gonna use when you promote your drum kit, your sound pack, your struggle, whatever. Um, like I said, you can export it at maximum size. The bro MH says export for web. I just do max quality. I don't, I mean, mine doesn't really have a for web option. Oh no, I'm about to mess up. Do not export JPEG unless you got any education. Do PNG. I don't know which linear to use. I don't, I don't know. Some programs require JPEG. Oh yeah, that's right. DistroKid, DistroKid requires JPEG. Anyway. Affinity does not. I'm sorry, motion does not. The Rona. <laughs> you feel me? Close it. You don't have to save it. I don't have to save it. I can remember how I do that. Y'all got this recorded on video, right? All right, so we go back a little bit. Chat break. Got a few people jump in. We're talking about the jupe. That's nice. Affinity is the Behringer to Photoshop. Yo, I need you to relax and, re and respect the $50 gods. Neo Soul Colors, jupe hair it is. Versa kill, Chef Baxter's in the building. Clout Radar is in the building. I see you. What up, Troy Lav? Black Soul AO Colando. Uh, can you do a motion five cover art? Yeah, Weaver Beats is in the building. Blaze FM. What's the font called that everyone is using? I don't know. I gotta buy one of those packs that has it in there. K Benga says a Daredevil font. Ooh. He knows. Pixeler can't do all this. Damn, MG got skills. Ernest Teller, relax. Pixlr can get you there most of the part. Blah, 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 blah. Thanks for putting me on Affinity Photo. No problem. How about videos for your beats? Yeah, I'm about to do that right now. Bigs and Aiken, I need you to fucking relax, sir. Pro tip, you can make a sticker using an HQ scanner. You can. You can make the uh, plastic wrap, too, if you use a black background and put the, plastic, the black background in the plastic and use a LUT remover. Um, but that's more so you don't know that until you start doing video editing and post-production. But you can do it in Photoshop, too. There's plugins that do the LUT. <laughs> Not the light. There's a word for it where you can remove green or black from a photo. And that's all they're doing. A lot of people can do it, especially if they have a really good camera. I have a really good camera, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I'd rather buy it. Uh, what else? Someone said Apple Motion. Now, here's the thing. In theory, I know how to do this in an Apple Motion. Um, I haven't used Apple Motion in a while, though, bro. Like, this shit is like... The fuck am I talking about? Why am I even trying, to be honest with you? But we're going to struggle through it because I still have an hour left on the clock. Can I do this in an hour? Yes, I can. Technically, you should be able to do this in five minutes because uh, you should make templates. So you all you have to do is switch your graphics out. So I'm going to do 800 by 800 because that is what Instagram is, If unless they changed it. Duration right here, I think, is in 59 seconds. Instagram strictly requires it to be one minute, especially if you're uploading the Instagram from your computer. So I only do 59 seconds. I'm not playing with these niggas. Oh, your, your, your film is too long by three frames. Like, fuck out of here, bro. You know what I'm trying to do. All right, so a couple of things. I'm gonna keep this really simple. I think. My background ain't even 80, 800 by 800. What is this shit talking about? Uh, anyway, I'm sorry, guys. I'm losing track here. Hello, MV. How are you doing? What's good, Danye? Haru, what's good? Struggle on my mind cover. Another cool thing about this, Apple Motion is Apple's answer to After Effects, except for it's layer-based and messy. Um, HitFilm has a struggle version of this too, which is a little bit better, but Apple Motion has the presets, which is the difference. They, this is targeting beginners. When you're finished with this, you're supposed to grow up and go to After Effects, and when you grow up from After Effects, you're supposed to go to Nuke or Fusion. I have Fusion. It's free with DaVinci Resolve, but I have no idea, let alone how layers work, to be working with a goddamn, uh, you know, fucking dot matrix of creating your own effects. I ain't got time for it. I barely know how to make my own, my own, my own side chain in Fruity Loops. So that's not going to happen. All right. So the Corona is in the group. This group can be called background. Um, most people, when they do these things, because I don't know why this is cinematic view. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know why this is a. 
I said 800 by 800. Bro, come on, dog. This, this, oh, this got any education. Ideally, this is supposed to be a little square, bro. Where's my inspector on this project, bro? This is getting on my nerves. On the project, bro. I said width and hey, 800, 800, and it gave me, it gave me goddamn cinematic view. I don't like, I don't, I get, I get stressed out when things don't, uh, hmm, whatever. All right, fuck this. We go back to the library. You want to filter because this background, you notice most people blur it. If I knew how to do that. Channel blur. Oh, so the preview is at the top up there. I don't know if, how we can enlarge this. It's a Gaussian blur that the cool kids use. If it motherfucking loads. Hit play on that hoe. Bro, my Gaussian blur should be applied to the photo. There's a pro inspector for my Gaussian blur, bro. A automat. There we go. You got to you got to adjust the amount. So, the top left corner is like most programs. Um the library is here and the inspector is your properties for each effect. So, if you if you select your project, it's the inspector for the properties of the project. If you select a group, it's the inspector for the group. And if you select select effect, it's the inspector for the effect. If you select your image or your object, it's the inspector for that. So you're going to select your effect, adjust your effect, and this is the background. So you can put a Gaussian blur and max it out. Then you bring it in again. And this one is foreground. You can rename that group if you want to. I try to keep up with it um, because, because this is layer based, you'll have a thousand layers for one cool video. Uh huh. Foreground is going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to select the image itself. I'm going to go to properties. I'm going to resize it, which is scale. And I'll put that on front of the Gaussian blur in the background. Now, what you want to do when you're doing these motion things, because it's called Apple Motion, you have behaviors that allow you to route certain things to it. And I'll get into that in a minute. They also have things that dance. Um, generators and stuff, fire in the background. I'll show you a fire one because I have a kick-ass computer and it allows me to do it now. So you have all these different presets for fire and stuff that you can use. You have one called Corona. Ain't that a bitch? Let's go. Where is it? We're in Drag the Corona and we wanted the whole project. Now, when you use these effects and generators, they will tax your fucking computer, bro. They ain't playing with y'all niggas. Like, this shit will, like, take an hour to render. Because it's a particle system. So you see what's happening right there? It automatically figured out the behavior for you. It's trying to render this in real time as I'm streaming. Um, Apple Motion CPU usage is trash. That's why people move on to Fusion. But we're going to scale it. You see the vision? Y'all see the vision? Y'all see where this is going? I know y'all see where this is going. And I'll name this group. Come on, dog. It's, it's slowing down already. This is fire because it's literally fire, right? So I want to minimize these layers so I only focus on it. I'll move the fire behind the foreground. Uh, no, nigga. Like, stop playing with me. Boom. So the corona is burning behind the corona. You feel me? You see where I'm at with it? You see where I'm at with it? The boy is nice. Now, the rona fire the fire a layer has other properties to where you can um basically you could set a, a frame a automation curve there you go there's automation curves for different uh behaviors in this shit so like you can have it so that it slowly increases in size pause that's what she said i'm gonna show you i'm gonna figure it the fuck out bro because it's just like music programs but oh shit bro you know you know what I'm about bro why did you leave bro you know what I'm trying to do here this thing's trying to embarrass me fam Yeah, nigga. 
I don't see the keyframes appearing. It's pissing me off. Nigga. I want to see if it does it, though. Yeah, it's Apple Motions. There it is. It's, it's scaling and scaling and scaling. Eventually, we're going to see it. And it stays there for a while. And then towards the end of the beat being fucking flames, it's going to shrink. All right. So now you're wondering, like, bro, I don't hear nothing. Because you got to drag your song in this shit, bro. So you take one of your struggle beats. I don't have a beat called Corona. Um, keep it a, I'm keeping a, a band with you. Um, but maybe I got some hot. What kind of hot shit do I want to put on Instagram? This is some hot shit, maybe. All these shits is fire. What am I talking about? Everyone likes this one though. The uh, this one. Nope. Everyone likes this one. Whoa! You don't want to. You don't want to drag and drop everything. And you guys are not going to be able to hear this audio because there's no audio driver routing to my stream from Apple Motion. So give me one second to fix that. I'm going to have to fix that so you can fucking hear this. Apple Motion, please. Thank you, Apple Motion. You're my favorite. You're my favorite. It's a beginner program, guys. It's only $50 if you have a Mac. Um, and it does most of that cool shit you want, except for the audio visualizer. It's the only thing that's trash about it. You can make one, though. You know, not to get it fucked up. But it takes forever. And it's slow. Or not slow, it, because particle systems are trash. Particle systems are trash, and they use all your CPU. Um, it's just other, like fusion is so much faster. Fusion is like Godspeed. Um, affinity photo is kind of fast. Affinity, I'm sorry, hit film pro, which has Premiere and After Effects built into one program, it's really fast. Um, and it has almost every fucking plugin and effect you could think of. And they're starting to open it up to support Adobe plugins, so like. Um, your boys at Red Giant work in it now. They just got Tao to work in HitFilm. They got the Eddie Kramer of Motion Object 3D or whatever the fuck he made, Element 3D. That works in it now. Um, and it's a, it's a true 3D space in that program in HitFilm. Um, Adobe After Effects is 2.5D. Apple Motion is 2.5D. Um, so you could do some cool camera projection stuff. I know this is really nerdy shit. Y'all have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. But what I'm saying is, uh, just like our DAWs, all these programs are have their plus and minuses. So doing simple graphic shit with some cool presets that you want to make Instagram and Twitter content for, I wholeheartedly believe you don't need too much more than Affinity Photo. Um, I'm what the why I keep saying that shit? It's not Affinity Photo. I wholeheartedly believe you don't need Affinity Photo and Apple Motion together. Fifty dollars each, a hundred dollars. You can promote all your beats yourself. Um, if you want cooler stuff, cooler effects, you can use Fruity Loops Z Game Editor. Do an effect there, export it as a video, and add it to this and add more to it. Of course, you can combine two programs together, like Rewire. Um, but if I keep it a bean with you, if you're serious and you want to escalate your content, if you really want to escalate shit and really put out way more visuals and you want the best support, like the tutorials, the presets, the templates, the add-on packs, all that shit. Get a fucking Adobe subscription. Adobe is trash. Like, don't don't get it fucked up. Adobe's trash. But when it comes to what we do, it has such a built-in economy for the past 20 years that it is so trash that it's faster than everything else. Um, and if you're in the middle somewhere and you want to be a rebel, get Hit Film Pro. So with that being said, let's hurry the fuck up. All right, we're gonna drag. We're gonna drag our MP3 into the timeline, and this program does something stupid. It puts your song right here. You see this little green in the middle? That's my song. That's where it puts it. I don't know why it fucking puts it there. So we gotta find the starting point of that. We gotta drag our song there. So obviously you can only have one song at a time if you can't tell. And then we're gonna hit play. And then we're gonna say, "Yo, that's not the fucking song." So I'm gonna go to media right here. And that's the wrong song. I'm going to right-click on it. I'm going to delete it. Get it the fuck up out of here. That's not the beat. That's not even cool enough for this shit. This is called That Vibe. Let's drag and drop it in. Import it. Media's up here. That's That Vibe. And again, 
It's going to give you your metadata. You can find out where people are stealing their stems from in this program because, you know, most photo programs show you metadata, behaviors, filters. This doesn't have audio filters, so you're not going to be able to do nothing to it. But I'm going to drag it back into the timeline or some shit. Drag it to the beginning of the song. Rewind. And you could, you could change the start and end point. You see what I'm saying? That fire stuff. <laughs> you already know it's a fucking problem. You know it's a fucking problem. This shit's about to go off, bro. Bitch, why are you playing twice? Why are you playing with me? Why are you why are you playing why are you playing twice? I need when Jared says this on fire for it to start. Yo. If I keep it a beam with you, I have no idea where the fuck that where that audio is. It's somewhere, but it ain't it ain't where I had it. It's playing through the whole project now. Oh, the NA education is killing me, bro. This education can eat me alive. Okay, there's no audio playing. Fucking fuck. I want this beat is fire to start as soon as that fire starts. Now it's playing it twice. The fuck is wrong with this thing, bro? Yeah, it's acting like it's fifty dollars. Unless I'm playing, unless I'm hitting, unless spacebar is triggering two shits, bro. Why are you doubling? Yeah, where the fuck are you playing? Right now? Where where the fuck is that at? I really don't know. It's really pissing me off now. I don't know where that is. It's not tracking it. Huh. You just want to piss me off today, eh? I don't know why. I don't know why it wants me to be... I don't know why it... You know what I'm saying? I don't know why. I don't know why it wants to do that to me. It's highly disrespectful. I don't like it. It normally doesn't do that. Cancel. Bitch, get out of here, bro. Like, the fuck's wrong with you? Delete this shit. Yeah, facts. Nothing. Okay, yeah, bitch. Let me drag it where I want it. Don't allow, nigga. What are you trying to do? I'm hitting play. Yeah, 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 yeah. It starts, it starts right there, bro. Let's resize this shit. Where does the fire start? The fire starts at 6 seconds and 25 seconds. Somewhere around there. There we go. There we go. I'm going for MVP, baby. Now this foreground image I was telling y'all about, I select it, go to inspector. I'm gonna go into it and select the Rona uh, graphic. I'm gonna go to behaviors or properties. I really forgot how to do this. No, I didn't. So what I wanted to do, I want the beat to control the, the thumping in the image and the movement of the image uh, Shrinking and expanding is called scale. So next to scale, it has this tree for behaviors. So I'm going to click that little drop down box. I'm going to add a parameter behavior audio. Now it's going to let me select my song. It's going to analyze my song real fast because my computer kicks ass. And what you could do is narrow its effect to resizing to the whole song because it's using EQ or you can narrow down the frequency band. So right now it's from 11 hertz to 22 hertz. Um, you could do it like multi-band. You could do one affecting one object with just the bass. You could do another one, another object just affecting the mids or when the snare hits, you could do another one where it's just highs. Normally bass is the one that you're gonna focus on, the kick, right? So like when the song is just playing, 
and there's no fucking instrument, you know what I'm talking about? Like from like 11 hertz to 250 hertz or 320 hertz, until that bass drops, it shouldn't move this image. And then what I wanted to do is change the scale of this uh, object. You see that dumb shit it just did? I don't like that. Let's scale it down. There we go. So it's listening. It's going to wait till those frequencies to be it. <sighs> it was off or not. It can't be all the way down. It has to be like at point 10 or some shit. All right, so I'll make sure it starts over that it's not touching it. It's picking up It's picking up vibes from that, bro. Turn that all the way down. And you get an EQ there. You can kind of see it. I need to narrow it down, though. I don't want that shit to move much. Bro, you playing with me. Let's turn it way down then, shit. That's an analyze each time. All right, it should be still. And then when that kick come in, that shit should move, scale. There we go. Hey, 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 hey. Chef, the Rona, the Hona, the Hona, God. Yo. Graphic me with affinity earlier in the video, Miklo. The fire that is coming out of this beat. Remember, I added a parameter to shrink that fire in the background. And my computer finally uh, cached it in the background so I can play the particle system in real time. It uses your RAM for that, so it's finished. So when I export, it's going to export pretty fast. Let's see if the fire goes away. Oh, it's not listening to the snare much. The fire, the fire disappointed the shit out of me. That was stupid. I'm not even going to hold y'all. But you know what? But you know fucking what? I'm done. So when I had to hit y'all with the share button, I'm going to export the movie. Um, you rename it The Rona. Whoa, what did I type? The Rona. MG the future, why does it have my government on this bitch? Uh, pure fire in um, settings. Settings is what you want to make sure the resolution is 800 by 800. Video and audio, of course. Kodak, same as source. This is trippy. I think it's H.264 for almost everything on Apple. And if you look at my file size, it changed. Like, depending on what you're doing. Like the file size would be like five gigs, but my nigga, we upgrading, we're uploading this shit to Instagram. Uh, we'll use H.264. Um, entire project, 59 seconds. Audio format, AAC. It doesn't matter to video in that regard. Um, color space, I don't fuck with that either. X a professional. Color channels. You can add motion blur and stuff to this stuff too. But like I said, Apple Motion. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. And we'll just call it the Rona IG. Hit them with that share button, bro. You get this little spinny spin thing letting you know it's exporting. I think sometimes it'll show up up here too. Fingers crossed. I don't know which one does it. I mean, our, uh, our status bar. Where the fuck is it, you know? Apple's notorious for not showing you. They think you're going to walk away, but my computer is made by the gods. I'm about to check the chat in a minute. I just want to make sure this is actually exporting. Uh, da Vinci shows you the export. My Da Vinci exports are quick as shit. I iMovie is decent. I iMovie on this computer is a is a third is a up to a, a no. It's like a third or half of the length of the video. So if it's a ten minute video, it'll take me five minutes to render it or less. If you know back in the day, it's usually more. It's usually like if you do a ten minute video, it'll take an hour to export it. But particle systems take longer, of course, the fire. Um, and you'll notice that when you start messing with 3D programs, too. I'll do more videos like that on my channel whenever I get my Adobe subscription, because I'm not going to I'm not going to I'm not going to struggle no more. I'm just going to get Photoshop with smart objects, affinity with all the hot plugins. I'm sorry. Why do I keep saying affinity, bro? 
I'm gonna get Photoshop so I can get my fucking smart objects for all the templates I bought for $500. And then I'm gonna get After Effects so I can get Element 3D so I can practice Blender and doing goddamn 3D objects and all that shit that I capture on my camera. Although DaVinci and Affinity and HitFilm are probably way better for me. I don't know. My mind's telling me no, but my body's telling me yes. Maybe I'll just get hip film again. I don't know. It says it's exporting. There it is. God damn, I got NA education. There we go. The Rona. If you do not add particle systems, your export is way faster. So keep that in mind. If you have a solar Mac computer, when you add those particle systems, it's not going to show you when you hit play. But when you finish rendering, it will have the full you know, animation. So don't worry about that. We're going to save it. I don't know why I'm saving it. But we can save it like it's a we can save it like it's a screen like a template, right? Because all I got to do next time I do that is switch out the graphic. Uh, IG vid, you feel me? Boom, whatever. Bye. Get out of here. Look how crispy that shit is, though, fam. Look how crispy that bitch is. Woo! It's fire for real, nigga. The Roman. killed it now we got to get this on instagram follow me on instagram at mg the future stay woke i i don't be recording my voice bitch you don't know me you don't pay my bills all right i use flume on my computer flume is how you get instagram for your desktop it's a paid program and you can see that i've talked to everybody in the world on instagram i don't know why it's showing my business like that hopefully there's no big booty naked girls on my feed Thank you. Woo. Lord have mercy. That almost gave me a heart attack. We're going to do an upload. And we're going to upload the IG Corona. Generating a preview pretty fast on the computer, of course. Bomb. The Rona. Sometimes you got to worry about it resizing and fucking your shit up. Sometimes you don't. You add a filter to your filter depending on how cool you are, or if you have an aesthetic on your channel. Some people have aesthetics. Juno is my favorite. Don't copy me. Be original. Um, and we actually want views on this, right? So we're going to do a IG, ah, IG hash tags beats, nigga. What are you talking about? Beats, music, hip hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Popular hashtags. That's what we're looking for, right? Beats, beat stars. What? Oh, this, they trying to sell me something. Nigga, nigga, no. Best hashtags. Beats, music, rap, beat maker. There we go. Copy, baby. We ain't got to come up with hashtags. But like, new joint by MG. You know what I am about. And then we drop some emojis in that bitch. Because, you know, people engage when you have emojis. Stay woke. Yeah. The Rona. Instrumental. DM me if you want some beats. I have to say that so people understand that I don't care that you like the beat or not. But if a rapper comes across it, they'll add me as a friend. They have to add me as a friend if they're going to DM me. No, let's not, not say some beats. This beat. Ooh. Ooh, because they think they're going to get it for free. Put the eyes on it. Is that true, MG? I don't know. In this case, it probably is because I'm probably not going to try to sell it. But because they have to DM me, they have to add me, right? Come on, guys. Put, put, the, put the mathematics together. Supreme mathematics, bro. You don't need a click funnel. You need a language funnel. All right. So I copy and paste the hottest hashtags for today. Hit post on that bitch. Rendering out of here. I did all that shit in less than an hour. Stay woke. Imagine if both of those were templates. I've been done in 10 minutes. So you only got to do it once. Save your templates. Replace your images. You know the vibes. There's another initiation and dues required to know both audio and video production at the same damn time. These are true. That is so true. That is so true. Everything is done through a launcher agent, kind of like Steam. Uh, yes, Photoshop costs $50 a month. Yes, to get Photoshop, Premiere, 
So it's not just about Photoshop. Photoshop is ten dollars a month. I just want Photoshop because of smart objects. Don't miss me on this. Don't don't get it fucked up. I need y'all to hear me loud and clear. The only reason why I want Photoshop is because I'm buying templates that use smart objects. I'm gonna show you that real quick. Because I have a template that requires smart objects and it doesn't work. And so smart objects is 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 a, the equivalent of I don't know, in audio, we don't have smart objects that way. We don't, we don't ever have to suffer through that shit. But in Photoshop, you do, and they're helpful because it takes a, a more skilled graphic designer will make something for you, and all you have to do is put your logo or your graphic in, and it does the work for you. Um, so that's what you're paying for. You're paying for them to, to, to do the layout, and they don't work in Affinity Photo, although Affinity Photo reportedly added smart object import. But when it imports it, it breaks the old Photoshop projects. And I'll show you what I mean if I can find one. I got some nice ones, bro. I got some I got some shits and giggles, bro. You would not believe. Alright, so this one, Chrome Style. Chrome Style will have smart objects. It's loading in the background. Cause it, these and by the way, these templates that you're buying, they're like gigabyte files. They're huge. They're, 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 they'll take a while to open because they put so much shit into them. I will to give you a preview of what that looks like and what the hype is about and why you're paying for it. Oh, you stupid bitch. See, it just, it didn't do it. It didn't even load the shit, bro. See, it broke. It's not even taking me to the shit. There we go. All right. So this is what a template looks like. This is the graphic designer. He's going to tell you to delete that. I'm going to hide it. The purpose of this project is so that I could choose any of these layers, drag and drop my image to it on the smart object layer, and my image will inherit those properties. As you can tell, this shit looks stupid because it doesn't fucking work. It's broken. It's legit broken. That's what Affinity Photo decided to fix by adding fucking smart objects that don't work. They don't look like that. So I want to show you a different version of I'm going to my properties real quick and turn that shit off. I'm going to turn off uh, uh, something about smart objects is in this shit. It's in advance. Miscellaneous? No. Why are you my friend? Nigga. Oh, import PSD smart objects when possible. Turn that shit off, right? So we turn that shit off. It trying to help me when it's not helping me. And peep game. Now, I'm, bro. Nigga. Hold on. Why did it open Affinity Designer? Let's see if Affinity Designer will do it. Yo, I might have fucking any education, bro. It might not be Affinity. It might be me. But... For 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 ha, for demonstration, this is Affinity Designer. Another fifty dollars if you want it, but this is their art program. This is their Adobe Illustrator. So if you want the pen tools and the snaps and all the cool shit, if you have a Wacom or a tablet, you use Designer. So this is what they're supposed to look like. You get these pretty graphics, and you uh, go into them. That's broken, but basically you go into these layers. You see how they're striped out. You're supposed to be able to. Re Replace this with your logo in the effects stay. So I would double click on this, put my logo in it, etc., etc. But it doesn't respect that. It, it, not at all. It doesn't respect it one fucking bit. It's a waste of fucking skills. So I can use all his logos, but that's fucking stupid, right? So I can't use it in that. And like I said, when you put it into the Photoshop version and you import it, it does this dumb shit. So they don't work. Most of them don't work. So you wouldn't use Affinity Photo with templates at all. You use Affinity Photo if you can make your own. And, that, and that's fine, too. I've done it for years. But all my graphics are trash. So I didn't want to be trash no more, so I downloaded these fucking templates. And now I motherfucking got to pay $50 a month for fucking Photoshop. That brings me to my next point. Photoshop is not $50 a month. The Adobe Cloud is. And you want Photoshop to use your templates. That's $10 a month. But you're also going to probably fucking want Adobe Premiere because you're editing videos. And why not, right? Fuck it. And you're probably going to want After Effects too because you want to make audio visualizers. Fuck it, right? 
So to get those three, you're spending damn near $50 a month anyway. So you might as well get the whole Adobe Cloud. And that's why it's expensive. So you're looking at $600 a year to make two Instagram posts a month. Do you want to do that? That is a question. But if you're selling, but if you're creating content to sell your kits though, you would, you would make that money back. You make that money on each kit. So why not, right? And you see people are like liking it already. Ooh, we, the only cure. I don't even know what that means, Infinite Reflections, but I appreciate you, bro. You see what I'm saying? All the likes are rolling in because the hashtag game is crazy in these streets. Y'all know the vibes. Oh, and I can play it on my computer. Gang, gang. It's playing twice. That's fucking stupid. Hey, hey, cricket, cricket, dug it, dug it, chef it, hey. Don't worry about it, ATCB. Let me have something, bro. I wish I could come by and make a look and, and take a look at this for you, MG. MH is it's it's not it's it's the uh the brother who designed it. His smart objects do not transfer to affinity. He's using probably a pirated version of Photoshop. So it's not going to transfer those smart objects. I think they only import the newest Photoshop smart objects. He's probably using an old bootleg Photoshop to make his templates. Like most kids do. But I'm not going to be buying a whole bunch of templates just to find the ones that work in Affinity. I could just buy Photoshop. You know the vibe. So yeah, that works. You know, it's on Instagram right now. At MG the Future. Drop a like. You watch the video. Matter of fact, drop a like on the YouTube. But did y'all even like this video? I gave you a million dollars worth of struggle game for free so you could be your own tree sound, internet money, drum broker. And y'all really don't love me like you, you pretend you do. I showed you all the sauce for free, man. And I can't even get a like on my video. Come on, dog. Let's do better as a society. What is this shit? My man says, does Joe wash his legs? I need y'all to relax. All right, let's go back in the chat. Joe, does Joe have toilet paper? It loads your beats and you can double click in the message original source. I pay $29.99 a year. I guess you could do the Netflix finesse to split the payments with the homies, everyone getting their graphics game up. Yeah. Become a student and get everything Adobe for $25 a month. Exactly what Mouse said. Get $60,000 worth of student debt so you can get Adobe for cheap. Does 4D Cinema offer the same features as Blender? He said for Miklo. No. <laughs> no. Bl nigga, Blender is about to murder all the 3D programs. Blender, program, br Blender has two big problems, though. One, it's open source. So Blender is the, uh, it's the reaper of DAWs for 3D. And because of that, you can make your own tools for it. You have your own pipeline for it. This graphic nerd talk has a different language. Pipeline means the workflow. So 3D programs have a workflow to get you from objects to texturing to rendering to video and all that cool shit. Blender does everything. Blender is all in one. It'll do posts for you, it'll edit videos for you, and it does everything. And here's the problem with programs that do everything. They don't teach you how to do any of it. It's trash, bro. So you could download free plugins and open source shit for it to do cool little cute shit in it. And then you're like, well, how do I make it do more? And then you have to wait for the developer. You need a forum. You need a group. You need a Reddit. You need a Facebook group. You need to talk to people who are rushing and shit to try to figure out how to import shit. Like, it'll get irritating. So once Blender streamlines the workflow and then reteaches everything, they just did that with 2.8. They changed the layout so it's more friendly. Um, that's problem number one. It's It does everything, but good luck, have fun, don't fucking die trying to learn how to do it. Two, it's render engine is trash. Cycles is trash. EV is less trash. EV means when you're designing the object, you can see it happen in real time. Most 3D programs don't let you see the final product in real time. EV is a real time render engine, like Unreal or Video Game Engine. Um, but compared to Cinema 4D, compared to Octane, compared to fucking um, the shit that comes with Maya now for free, it doesn't look the same. So you'll notice, like most people who do motion graphics and um, Blender, it's cute, but it's not as good as Bleeple. Bleep will use a Cinema 4D exclusively. This shit looks crazy. Um, and, and half of that is the render engine. 
Here's the problem with the render engine in Cinema 4D. Shit gets expensive. It's a $4,000 program. So do you want it, do you want your do you want your 3D to be so cute that it costs four thousand dollars? I don't fucking think so. I told them I told Maxon a long time ago, it's a bitch. So it's just hit the subscription and I'm buying it tomorrow. Just please, I put it on my credit card every month. Switch it to subscription. These bitches are holding out. Um But they're they're probably gonna switch to subscription because they're gonna have to. They can't keep up in this market. Blender is free and Blender's gonna murder them. Um because people could buy, get Blender for free and then buy Octane. Or buy uh, that Arnold. I want to use Arnold for MoGraph, though. Arnold is a... Uh... Y'all have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. Anyway, 3D is a whole nother thing. 3D is a problem. I want to do it, though. I'm going to get into it. I have to. I need something to do with my 40s. Um, What else? What else are we talking about? All you need is an EDU, really. Yeah, I hear you. Which what you don't understand is that everybody I know got any education. Y'all think I'll just be saying that shit. I need to check that out. You gotta know your Python language, young man. I know C a little bit, but even if I know Python, I'm not gonna know what to do with it in their environment. You feel me? Like what is it like I know Python, then what? It's always that, right? Then what? They don't answer the then what usually. You not only have to know that, you have to know context, you have to know language, you have to know order of operations, you have to know the formulas, you have to know how to get the research to import the formulas, then you have to know how to code them, then you need to know how to debug your code, then you got to make sure that you're not working on this really cool super project and that your dumbass Python script doesn't blow it up after you did it for 64 hours. Nah, fam, give me drag and drop, my nigga. And for that reason, um, Blender is, is headed that way. Why is my nose running? I don't even like those vibes. Let me keep drinking this ginger ale. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you once. I'll tell you twice. He said, Touchstone says, that sounds, that sounds deep. It's not deep. It's not deep, bro. And that's the funny thing. It's not even deep. It's just that's the language for 3D. It's like us talking about gain staging and motherfucking export and mastering and mixing. It's those terms, but for what they do. Sounds like working in Dreamweaver back in the day, editing HTML. Yes, sir. I was about to get my master's degree at NA University, but the corona got my shit all messed up. Facts. I was mostly using C4D to make text. Blender would be way more cost effective. Yes, Blender, if you're just doing cute 3D text for your graphics and stuff, Blender is free. And you can just type, do some beveling, add some fucking uh, effects to it. Matter of fact, uh, Blender has some really cool tutorials for 3D text. Like how to do all the cool stuff. It's all free. So Blender is free. Download Blender for free and then go on YouTube and type in Blender text tutorial. And it's really easy. Don't be intimidated by it. The only time 3D gets intimidating is when you start, uh, when you have to pick a discipline. And that's one thing I want y'all to know. If y'all get into graphic design, you're not going to find an MG the future of any of that shit. They, they're disciplinary. So you're going to have people who only specialize in scenery. You're going to have people who only specialize in character design, character animation, architecture, uh, motion graphics. Motion graphics is probably what you want to start with for what we do, putting audio to visuals. Um, you have people who spec in that stuff, so you're going to learn a lot of things from one person that doesn't translate over if you're trying to build a fucking car. Um, the car stuff is called hard surface modeling. That's a whole different tool set. And that's what's cool about Blender. Blender has a tool set for every discipline for free. That's why it's so cool. Um, and like I said, you got to buy Octane. Oh, that's another thing. When you get 3D programs, they are, they're, they rely on your graphics card, meaning certain engines only work if you have NVIDIA. Some engines only work for AMD, and, like, it'll, it'll change your whole shit. Like, it's, I have an 8 gigabyte Radeon, so I think I can use, uh, I can use Arnold, but I cannot use Octane. Trash, because Arnold is for movies. Arnold's for the realistic 3D. Um, not the motion graphics. It'll take forever and a day to, to render. If you render something in 3D, just get prepared not to use your computer for the rest of the day or week. It'll, it'll literally sit there and render the whole day. Um, but thank God for Instagram. The longest your video should ever be is 60 seconds. So however much your frame rate is, you have a, let's say you have a 60 second Instagram video that you're doing in 3D and you're multiplying that by frames per second, 
So usually a good animation is like 24 frames per second. So you do 60 times 24, whatever that number is, it's in the thousands, right? And that's how many frames your computer has to render. So if it's a thousand frames, it has to go through the whole screen, frame one, go through the whole screen, frame two. That's why that shit takes so long. So just keep that in mind. It's not a cakewalk. Now, if you use 3D programs to do text, like just a, a Instagram upload of a photo, that'll take even less time. That'll take five to 10 minutes for one frame. So if it takes five to 10 minutes for one frame, multiply that times a thousand. That's how long it'll take you to render. And that's without motion blur. That's without particle effects. That's fuck that shit, bro. Niggas be bugging, bro. And they want to charge you $4,000 for your struggle ass computer to take two weeks to fucking do a dog chasing a ball. I ain't got time. So, this is why MG The Future uses Fruity Loops. How is HitFilm Express for quick video edits? The best. It's free. HitFilm Express is free. It's really easy to use. ATC Beats. What did ATC Beats say? I didn't see what he said, man. Sounds of the Cypher. MG, I used to use Flash before it was ever Adobe. Flash and Dreamweaver is owned by Macromedia. Sounds of the Cypher. Me too. That's how I started. I started with Macromedia Flash. In um, Shockwave Studio. I wanted to learn Shockwave Studio so I could make my own water balloon game. And I realized quickly that I did not know how to code. And there's no idea of libraries and assets, so I never did anything with it. Then I got Macromedia before 3 or 4. Then Flash MX came out. And that's when I really started to do web design and hit points and rollover graphics and all that cool keyframe shit. Um, and interactive web stuff and remember this is when our internet was trash and my computers were even more trash so it take me forever and a day to do something cool um, and then somehow in the middle of that in the midst of all of that that's how I ended up making beats because I wanted a song or a beat in my animation and I was like why don't I just make my own music because I had like EJ and stuff I was like how about I make my own song and put it in Flash and um I saw it was a timeline based thing and my brain finally drew that connection like, oh, music is arranged over time, just like an animation is arranged over time. Now, I know that sounds basic, but it didn't to a teenager. But once I clicked that, I start making the beats and, uh, and the beats coming from animation was just so much faster and intuitive. I was like, well, you know, let me spend more time with that. And then slowly and surely I, I stopped doing web design. I stopped doing flash and I just went full time on the music. And here I am about to do the opposite. I'm about to get out of music and go back into uh, animation or uh, film editing or whatever I'm going to pick. One of those disciplines. Someone else added me. I'm a graphic designer by trade. Didn't want to be a starving artist since 2001. ATCB says there are no MG to futures in the graphic world and it's so sad. I know, bro. I know. Does FL Studio still make the beat thingies in WIC? Yeah, bro. It's called Z Plane. Z Plane. Yeah, it's still in FL Studio. It's on Mac now, too. Touchstone B says you're a Swiss Army knife. Uh uh. I'm an old head. <laughs> I'm an old head, bro. I'm an old head. I started with graphics, left it, went to music, then went into video, bought a camera, and then tried to swing the pendulum back. I'm an artist artist. I'm not really a, I'm not really a musician. If y'all haven't noticed by now, I'm not a musician. So we'll see. Yo, no, says 20 minutes left. Caesar facts. The more multimedia skills you have, the better. I'm old head too. Sounds like cypher. Yeah, man, you have to be an old head to do all this shit. I'm just waiting for MG to take off on a UFO. DJ Georgie Porch, I need you to relax, sir. OBM, Big Will. Who else added me earlier? Drink 40s in your 40s, LOL. Facts. Garrett says, over my head, I must have came in at the wrong time. Rewind it. I did the whole shit from the beginning. I showed you how to do your own struggle vinyl cover and what assets to get and use. And then we did the joint in Apple Motion. And now we're reflecting on how expensive it is because uh, white people are being racist because they don't want black kids to do graphic design. <laughs> That's my hot take. No, that's not that's not the hot take, but it, it but it feels like that. There is no uh, point of entry for poor people in the graphics world. Even if you pirate the stuff, which you can, and t trust me, I've been tempted to. I got all I got the links to all the Cinema 4D releases, but I just refuse to do that 
because I stand on it in audio, it doesn't make sense for me to open up that weakness for 3D because I'm not making money off of it. You know what I mean? That shit, that shit's mad gay to me. So I won't have to buy something. So, but I do a YouTube channel, so I don't even have time to do it. I do have time to do it. I don't have a mind to do it. I don't have a split mind to balance it that way yet. Creative hackers, yes sir. Faded on the beat says, I'm in this thing, bro. What's good, Faded? We're, we're almost at the end of the video, bro. You gotta rewind it. There's so many tools now that do have to work for you. There's no excuse now. Yeah. I feel that way about music. If I can get, if I can get half as fast or half as good as I am in music and, and art, I'd be happy with that. And, and that's how I'm gonna approach it. I'm gonna approach it for hacks. Yeah, it's expensive field to get into, but worth it for those who can. I agree. I've been graphic designing since AOL days. Old soul here. Same here, bro. Yeah. I feel like YouTube is biased against black producers on YouTube, and they don't get the same shine as white producers. Am I tripping? I don't know if it's a racial thing. You know, I talk shit about the race thing because I think there's a real race issue. But I don't mean it in terms of racism. I mean in terms of how race is represented in the, you know, when we talk about history and stuff, race is... Uh, um, you'll quickly see it translates to bloodline and bloodline to nationhood and all these other things. And I, I always explore that because there's a there there, especially within America's history. Um, and no one knows why. No one has the reason why for it. It's not because of slave trade. It, slave trade is not even because you got to ask yourself, how do people who are being oppressed and have, when it, or securing religious freedom end up making a pit stop? in the middle of escaping oppression and being poor and having enough money to support trading slaves, that shit doesn't even make sense. And how out of you acquiring slaves or prisoners of war develop this type of rapport with people that you then hate them and chastise them and beat them and kill them and murder them when they literally kept your ass alive. So there's a, a lot of blurriness there and it manifests itself as racism. Today, 2020, when it comes to creative people, the, the main difference between people of color and white people is that white people by default have an advantage. They have a information advantage, they have an access advantage, um, and then they have a bias of a demographic. They have the, a demographic advantage. Um, there's always gonna be more so-called white people gravitating towards things on the computer. Black people are usually outside. Black people aren't nerds in a number, in a scale that white people are nerds. So like when it comes to gaming, there's always going to be more white people. When it comes to beat making Fruit Loops, there's always going to be more KBZs than there are Kane or Mike Will or, or Metro Boomin. There's always going to be more of the others just because that's how the population slices up on the internet. Um, so you got to think about that. Um, no matter what I'm doing, if I do not represent that demographic, my scale of numbers will never be the other demographics. You feel me? I'm not in their groups. I'm not in their chats. I'm not in their schools. I'm not in none of that. So I don't, I have a whole part of the can that I'm not exposed to. Um, the only part that gets my, greer, my gears grinding is because of those advantages, there's a sense of delusion amongst white content creators that they think that equates to them being good. Um, and it's not. <laughs> it's favor. It's favor amongst men. And they, and they should have favor amongst men if that's their tribe. But that doesn't mean they're good. Be it as it may, I don't care. I don't, I don't even care about that. I just, just, just stop stealing my shit and I'm cool. What can you do about it? Maybe Corona will fix some of that for us. Stay woke. Dual 12 core 20 terabyte raid. Damn. Arcane Audio says, you can always get into 20 2D animation to make money. If you can bring the fire in 2D and the, three, the 3D doors open. 2D animation, I thought about too. Um, those programs are much cheaper. Like uh, an anime studio and stuff like that. There's another one. Yo, there's this sick 2D program, bro. There's a sick ass 2D program. I'm glad you said that. Them shits, them shits are hacks now, right? Them shits are sick, bro. They got presets and 2D animation. I was like, Lord, it's my time. It's my time, bro. It's my time. What is that shit called? Is it Synfig? 
It ain't that weird shit. It's something beautiful. Is it Animaker? Blender does 2D animations too, not for nothing. But no one's going to teach us how to use fucking grease pencils, so that's a waste of time. What is that shit called? Is it Synfig? I don't think it's Synfig. Oh, Synfig is the fucking reaper of 2D animation? Yeah, no thank you, bro. I'm not trying to use fucking GIMP to make cartoons. What is that shit called? There's another one that's be better than all these bitches. What is this shit called, bro? I think it's the same company that bought Poser 3D and all of them bought it. Because I used to use that. My computer didn't let me use it, but I used to think I was using it. Yeah, this ain't the, this dumb shit. What is it? Who, who owns Bryce 3D? Because that's who owns it. Daz 3D? Maybe? Did Daz buy that? No, nigga. What is it called? It's pissing me off now, bro. Yeah, it's Moho. They keep changing the name of their shit and I can never find it. It's Moho. Moho, right? This shit right here, nigga? This shit right here? How much is it? It's only $400? Nothing. I paid that much for Studio One. But this shit right here, nigga? Um, what they did was, back in the day when you used Flash and stuff, where you're trying to do 2D animations, you know what you had to do, right? You had to draw the object or the art and on each frame, move it or redraw it like you would with the notebook. This one, you can make one character, put 3D bones in it and move the character around. Um, and Photoshop and them is called Puppet Tool. Matter of fact, Apple Motion does it too. I can probably do basic 2D animation in Apple Motion because Apple Motion has a puppet tool. But this program uses bones for 2D objects. It's fucking nuts. And it has the effects and stuff. So like if you want to do a Dragon Ball Z animation, it'll let you do it. I was thinking about that too. I was thinking about getting this. This shit right here, bro. Come on. Hurry up. Let's get to the shits and giggles. I don't care what y'all did. Show me what it do, baby. Yeah, that shit. We take one image and just put bones in it. Oh, life. Show me the bitmap tools. <sighs> Winning 3D object support. Come on, dog. What are we talking about? Look at that shit. Come on, dog. Lighting on 2D objects? The money on that shit, bro. Come on, what are we talking about? Actions. Oh, that shit's stupid. It only got two. It only got two presets. Stop it. Oh, he's tracing because he can't draw. Yep. Yeah, this shit is fire. That that world that that world is fire. But at the same time. No one teaches it. So that's fucking stupid. But ideally, ideally, yeah, I would do it. I said 10 minutes. I'll be all right. She ain't knocking on the door yet. I fired, I fried so many compact presarios cracking 3D programs. Facts. Adobe has a character animator now. I haven't had time to mess with it. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It has a standalone joint for that. Would look really cool. Look really fun. It'd be dope for Instagram content. If you could draw a character and then rig it, and then you could, I think you could even um, record your face with your webcam and it'll extract the, the motion points and put it on the animation. It's like all that stuff. I wish I had as a kid. I would have did so much more. You said the Unreal Engine is free for 2D graphics? Relax. That's like using Blender, bro, for 2D graphics. It's, it's, it's there, but it's like for like, it'd be like me trying to use beats to make beats in Reaper. Of course I can do it, but... Starting there from scratch, nah. Use Skillshare to learn burst again. No, 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 no. Maybe no one teaches it because they smart and see how teaching has messed up the money in music production. Arcane Audio, uh-uh. They ain't it. Because they teach a lot of stuff. There's more graphic tutorials than there are music tutorials. They don't teach it because they don't know how. They're nerds. 
the kids teach everything. But they don't teach the advanced stuff because the advanced stuff is really nerdy. Music, advanced music stuff isn't nerdy. It's like cool. Coding Python script for Cinema 4D is, isn't seen as cool. But more so and more importantly is you have to really know how to teach to break that down. Music's like three steps. Animation's like a hundred steps to get something to move. It's not the same. It's, it's heady. And not only that, you got to think about um, that stuff has render time, right? So not only do you have to demonstrate um, how to get started, you have to demonstrate the finished result. So think about it. You do a, th a 60 second clip as a tutorial. It's going to take you an hour to record it, an hour to edit it, an hour to render the finished result to edit into your video to show everyone what you did, and then an hour to render that to upload. So like every, yeah, a person who wants to teach that seriously is going to spend six hours a day doing it. I suspect that is more so the reason than them quote unquote fucking up the market. I'm um, teaching music production and, and fuck up the market. Uh, white kids sending beats to people for free did. So let's never forget that. Stay woke. Hold, hold, you can draw, draw. Can you draw, draw? Nerve vision, yes. Like, like a teenager, <laughs> but I don't want to download it. I want to learn Unity. I'm gonna start learning this year. Probably want to learn some C. Yeah. Uh uh. uh. Is Deep Fake next? <laughs> Deep Fake is already here. You think that's your political people talking to you on the TV? Ha ha ha! Bless your soul. Price 3D. Now you're taking me back. J Mac. Oh, you know the vibes. MG about to make short films. That's what I always want to do. They owe MG a big-ass Father's Day card. <laughs> Illinois, relax. MG, how come free have become the enemy of humanity? What is free? How, oh, free has become the enemy of... Why, why we're going towards communism? I don't know. Toon Boom. That's it, Arcane Audio. That was the other one. Toon Boom is the other one. I think that's the one with the special effects in it. Toon Boom Studio. That is the one, Arcane. Moho is the other one, but Toon Boom is the one with the, uh, the, the, the particle systems in a 2D environment. Money mics. Build a library of stuff to use over and over and over. Yeah, like templates. Live inside your Pro Tools. Sebastian. Uh, it's easier just to buy a book on 2D animation film for TV than learn the particulars word program you want to use. Yeah. Coding is heady and tedious. In the wrong place and the whole thing's trash. Yep. If you don't know how to debug, what are we talking about? But it's getting easier. A lot of these things are being, a lot of coding stuff is be, being converted to a what you see is what you get atmosphere or environment. And that's so important. Um, 3D programs, Blender's trying to be what you see is what you get with the whole EV thing. Um, um, as the people, as there's, as there seems to be a demand for it and the really impress the really impressive coders take jobs in doing these things, the programs in that world will get a lot better. For now it's gatekeeped, because that's another thing that's different about audio. Audio, you know, we make fun of people for like five people being on one beat, but in the graphics world, it really be like fifty people on one scene. So all those people are specialized. Like hi hat gods for real. You know what I mean? Like for real. Like there's people who just touch up the background. And there's people who just do character animation, meaning they don't do anything in their 3D tool set, but move joints around. And you have to be skilled at that if you want it to look real. My, my, my other bro, my bro I went to middle school with. You know what's funny? My brother, his name's Dwayne, just like mine. We have the same name. He just spells his different because I think his parents are gay. Anyway, shout out to him. My brother Dwayne, I met him in like seventh grade, eighth grade. And, um, our project, we had to do some kind of project in eighth grade, I think for the IB program. My project was a comic book strip. And I drew up a, a comic book strip on poster board with pencil and a black marker. And you know, I drew the Pokemon characters. I did something funny, I wish I kept it, I never kept it. I think he wanted to keep it. Maybe I gave it to him, I don't know. I think I gave it to him. But I did it and I brought it to school, whatever. I thought it was gay. He looked at it and he was like, whoa, you drew this? 
I was like, yeah, nigga, it's MG. You know what I'm about. You feel me? Like, nigga, <laughs> I'm nice with the, I'm nice with the the number two lead, bro. Like, niggas was sleeping, bro. I was really in these streets downloading Dragon Ball Z pictures and printing them and using all of our color ink for real. I was in the field for real. That's when I didn't know ink cartridges cost that much. Anyway, um, so he saw that. He saw that. He saw that in eighth grade. And then he went on to pursue that. <laughs> and I didn't know that. I didn't know that until I reunited with him later. He ended up drawing. He ended up going to NC State because NC State has a small 3D school or whatever, or art school. And he went up going there. He got into Maya, started doing 3D animation. Um, he did little short films and stuff. He tried to do the independent freelance thing, trying to do stuff for companies. But, you know, we're in fucking North Carolina. There ain't shit around here for that. No one's buying that. Um, he needed to move. But as God is, as, as miraculous and as special as God is for people with their passions, except for me, maybe. But we'll get to that another day, to be continued. Uh, he ended up taking that skill set. And um, Epic Games is in North Carolina. Epic Games is the next city over. It's in... Um, and carry so he is an animator on fortnite and you know how big fortnite got you know how much money fortnite uh, made so Dwayne is a, a lead animator now when I, I met up with him bought him lunch we talked about it because i was asking him questions about maya or something and he was telling me he was a junior animator and then he became a lead animator and the rest is history my nigga posted a picture he posted one picture on facebook of him buying his new house i was like love to see it bro Love to see it. But that all came from him looking at my little comic strip. So I don't want to take credit for his hard work, but that he told me that inspired him. So stay woke. I heard you. I'm coming. So yeah, man. That's a that's a that's a short story by MG the Future. It's time to go though. 3D Studio Max, relax, bro. I can never get that to work. Who going to that COVID-19 party? I have. What's good, bro? You caught us at the end, bro. I'm getting out of here for now. I might come back later, though. I got to go. But yeah, man. Well, I guess the moral of the story is Dwayne took this shit serious, and he did it. Um, and he made it. Even in this shitty situation where you don't think you can make it, he made it. So I'm inspired by him now. So yeah, it's MG. You know what I'm about. Till next time. Peace.